A wildlife caretaker named Adalo saves a dying lion cub, creating a strong bond. And seven years later, they meet again, and something amazing happens. Adalo, an enthusiastic and skilled caretaker at the wildlife refuge, begins his daily routine as the sun rises, casting a pleasant light over the sanctuary. He checks on the animals in their cages, making sure they have food, water, and a clean environment. While tending to a playful group of monkeys, his phone vibrates in his pocket. Glancing at the screen, Adalo sees an unfamiliar number. Curiosity piqued, he answers the call. Hello, is this Adalo from the wildlife sanctuary? A woman's worried voice asks. Adalo answers the phone, Yes, this is Adalo. How can I help you? His brow furrows slightly in concern. The woman on the other end introduces herself as Amelia. She's from a wealthy family that recently bought a lion cub from a breeder. Adalo remembers the transaction clearly, recalling the excitement on their faces as they took the tiny cub home. However, Amelia's trembling voice reveals her distress. The cub isn't doing well, Amelia says, her voice heavy with worry. She's weak, refusing to eat, and barely moving. We don't know what to do. Adalo feels a pang of concern, understanding the fragile nature of young cubs. He knows the situation is serious and requires urgent attention. I understand your concern, Amelia, he says calmly and reassuringly. With your permission, I can come over and take a look at the cub to assess his condition. It's important to determine how severe her health issues are. As Amelia breathes a sigh of relief, grateful for Adalo's offer, she says, Yes, please, we just want what's best for her. Adalo wastes no time gathering his supplies and heading to the family's estate. As he drives through the city, his mind is consumed with thoughts of the cub's condition and the potential challenges ahead. Upon arriving, Amelia and her family greet him warmly and lead him to a quiet room where the cub lies motionless. Immediately, Adalo's experienced eyes detect the signs of distress, the cub's labored breathing, a dull coat, and sunken eyes. He carefully examines her, his hands methodically assessing her condition. And after a thorough evaluation, he turns to the anxious family with a grave expression. Adalo sighs deeply, his face serious. She needs specialized care and constant monitoring to recover. And with your permission, I would like to take her to our sanctuary. And there, we have the expertise and resources to give her the care that she needs. The family, realizing the severity of the situation, agrees without hesitation. Please, do whatever you think is best for her, Amelia says, her voice filled with trust and concern. If you need anything, let us know. We can arrange for a car to take you and the cub to the sanctuary. Adalo nods gratefully for their support. Thank you, that would be very helpful. The sooner we get her to the sanctuary, the better. As the family huddled in worry, Adalo stepped forward and gently scooped up the tiny cub, cradling her close to his chest. I'll take good care of her, he assured them, his voice filled with determination. I promise to keep you updated on her progress. Upon arriving at the sanctuary, Adalo immediately contacted the head veterinarian, informing them of the cub's critical condition. He then carefully settled the cub into a warm, quiet space, ensuring she was away from the other animals. Thus began Adalo's journey of nursing the cub, whom he named Kiara, back to health. His heart was full of love and his mind unwaveringly focused on the task at hand. Little did he know, this was merely the beginning of an extraordinary adventure that would test the strength of their bond and the power of their love. Kiara's health improved steadily under Adalo's care and the help of the sanctuary's veterinary team. The once frail cub transforms before their eyes, her coat becoming shiny and her eyes sparkling with new life. Adalo spends more and more time with Kiara, amazed by her progress and strong spirit. During Kiara's recovery, Adalo contacts Amelia to update her on the cub's progress and ask her about her plans for her return. Amelia, impressed by Kiara's transformation and the bond she has formed with Adalo, surprised him with a heartfelt offer. If you agree, Adalo, we would be happy for you to keep Kiara at the sanctuary for a while longer. She seems to be thriving in your care, and we want what's best for her. Overwhelmed with gratitude, Adalo conveys his deep appreciation for their trust and generosity. He promises to devote himself fully to Kiara's continued growth and well-being. Thank you, Amelia. Your kindness means the world to me and to Kiara. I will do everything in my power to ensure she thrives and flourishes under my care. Early in the morning, Adalo arrives at the sanctuary, eager to see Kiara. He steps into her enclosure, his face lighting up with a smile as a young lioness bounds towards him, her tail swishing with excitement. Kiara nuzzles against Adalo's leg, her affectionate nature evident in every gesture. Adalo laughs, his heart swelling with joy as he playfully ruffles her growing mane. Over time, as Kiara grows, 
their bond strengthens, rooted in trust, respect, and unconditional love. As the years pass, Adalo begins to notice changes in Kiara's behavior. Her playful swats become more forceful, and her teeth and claws grow sharper and more pronounced. Kiara's wild instincts surge to the surface, demanding attention and outlets for expression. The sanctuary, originally designed for smaller, less dangerous animals, struggles to accommodate Kiara's increasing size and growing needs. The enclosure, more spacious for a cub, now feels cramped and restrictive for the maturing lioness. Adalo's heart sinks as he understands the seriousness of the situation. He knows that Kiara's presence poses a potential threat to the other animals, and the sanctuary's limited resources make it hard to provide her with the space and stimulation she needs. The thought of the authorities stepping in, labeling Kiara as dangerous, and taking her away from his care fills Adalo with dread. With a heavy heart, Adalo set out to explore alternate options for Kiara's future. He delved into extensive research, tirelessly sifting through documents and making numerous phone calls. His determination to find the ideal sanctuary for his beloved lioness drove him through long hours of work. Adalo reached out to colleagues, consulted with animal welfare organizations, and sought advice from wildlife experts, all in a relentless pursuit of the perfect home where Kiara could thrive and embrace her true nature. After weeks of relentless searching, Adalo finds a ray of hope. He discovers a wildlife sanctuary in Mexico, located in a large nature reserve. This sanctuary is famous for its skill in caring for big predators. It has large enclosures that look like natural habitats, letting the animals roam freely and act like they would in the wild. Adalo contacts the sanctuary and has long talks with her staff. He tells them Kiara's story, explaining her unique situation and the challenges she faces where she is now. As the talks go on, Adalo becomes more sure that this sanctuary is the best place for Kiara to have a good life. Moving Kiara to the sanctuary won't be easy. The journey from the city to the remote sanctuary in Mexico is long and dangerous. A driver from the wildlife sanctuary comes to help them after they cross the Mexican border. He decides to avoid the busy highway and takes an unbeaten path to save time. But this route is known for gangs and thieves who demand big payments to let people pass. The driver thinks they can get through the dangerous area before sunset, making it safer than traveling at night. But unexpected traffic delays slow them down, and they realize they'll encounter the gangs. As they near the notorious area, tension fills the air, and Adalo and his team exchange worried glances, their hearts pounding with fear. Suddenly, armed men appear from the shadows and block their path. The driver stops the vehicle, gripping the steering wheel tightly. The gang members approach, their faces hidden by bandanas, their eyes filled with malice. They demand a huge sum of money for passage, much more than Adalo and his team expected. The negotiations become heated, with the gang members getting more agitated and threatening. Just as the situation is about to turn violent, a rival gang shows up, drawn by the noise. After looking at the situation, they surprisingly side with Adalo and his team, arguing that the first gang's demands are too high. Amidst the chaos and rising tensions between the two gangs, the driver leans over to Adalo and whispers urgently, I have an idea. Give some money to the rival gang to help you and your team get back to the border. Don't worry about Kiara. She'll be safe. We're only a few miles from the sanctuary. Torn between staying with Kiara and the increasing danger, Adalo hesitates, and with a heavy heart, he follows the driver's advice and discreetly hands a wad of cash to the rival gang's leader. Now motivated to help, the rival gang forms a protective circle around Adalo and his team, escorting them back to their vehicles and providing cover as they prepare to leave. Adalo takes one last look at Kiara, her eyes wide with confusion and fear, and silently promises to reunite with her someday. As they speed away, Adalo's heart races with a mix of relief and regret, feeling as though he has abandoned Kiara, even though he knows it was the only way to ensure her safety and his own. Adalo's phone buzzes as they approach the border. It's a call from the sanctuary informing him of Kiara's safe arrival. Relief washes over him, mixed with sadness because he didn't get to say goodbye to his beloved animal friend. Three years later, Adalo still longs to see Kiara. He knows visiting the sanctuary in Mexico will be expensive and complicated, requiring special permission because of his status as her former caretaker. Determined to reunite with her, he writes to the sanctuary's director, hoping to get the needed clearance. However, Adalo is unaware that the sanctuary has undergone significant changes. The new director, a stern and bureaucratic person, has little regard for the bond between Adalo and Kiara. 
After six years of waiting and hoping, Adala was granted the visit he has longed for. One morning, an invitation arrives at the wildlife sanctuary where Adala works. The letter bears the logo of the Mexican sanctuary and invites him to visit Kiara and see the life she has built in her new home. Thrilled, Adalo immediately contacts Amelia and her family to share the wonderful news. However, they're unable to join him on the trip. They give their heartfelt blessing, encouraging him to visit Kiara on their behalf. Adalo promises to take pictures and videos, ensuring they can witness Kiara's progress and the life she has created in her new home. Upon arriving at the sanctuary, Adalo is warmly greeted by the staff, their faces beaming with pride. He presents his letter, and they guide him through the winding paths, past enclosures housing various species of big cats. Finally, they reach a large open area, and in the distance, Adalo spots a magnificent lioness, her golden coat gleaming under the sun. Kiara, now fully grown, turns her head towards the visitor. Her eyes meet Adalo's, and in that instant, a spark of recognition ignites. As Adalo and Kiara lock eyes, time seems to stand still and memories flood their minds. Suddenly, something unbelievable happens. Kiara lets out a mighty roar that echoes through the sanctuary and sends shivers down Adalo's spine. It's a roar of joy, recognition, and an unbroken bond. Kiara bounds towards him, her powerful strides closing the distance in seconds. Adalo braces himself, his heart pounding with anticipation. Tears stream down his face as he realizes that this moment, this reunion, is something he had dreamed of for seven long years. Kiara jumps towards him with her big paws reaching out in a way that seems impossible to understand. She wraps Adalo in a warm hug, and they fall to the ground from the force of her embrace. But Adalo doesn't mind. He's caught up in the moment, feeling Kiara's soft fur against him and hearing her happy purrs. This reunion is both amazing and somehow felt destined to happen. The sanctuary staff watches in amazement, their eyes filling with tears. They have seen many reunions, but none quite like this. The bond between Adalo and Kiara is unique, something that goes beyond species and time. In Kiara's eyes, Adalo sees a lifetime of love and gratitude, acknowledging all he has done for her. And in Adalo's eyes, Kiara sees the unwavering devotion of a friend who has never given up on her and always believed in her. Side by side, they wander through the sanctuary, and Adalo feels a deep certainty that his decision from years ago was the right one. Kiara is where she belongs, living the life she was always meant to live. As the sun sets over the sanctuary, they share one last poignant moment together, their love forever etched into their hearts. Adalo knows that he will carry the memory of this reunion with him always, a testament to the profound impact one life can have on another. With a tearful smile, he says goodbye to Kiara, aware that she will always be a part of him, regardless of where their journeys may take them. In this remarkable story, the unwavering love and dedication of a wildlife caretaker who saved a dying lion cub, culminating in an unforgettable reunion seven years later. Now it's your turn. What would you have done if you were in Adalo's place? Please share your thoughts in the comments below. And don't forget to like and subscribe. I'm Mickey V, and I'll see you in the next video.